One of the things that it talks about in GDPR is the right to be forgotten. So tell me a little bit about what that is and then how does that relate to also having to be able to produce compliance? Yeah, absolutely. So that is a privacy right that's given to consumers under the GDPR, right to be forgotten. In certain circumstances, they can go to organizations and say, please forget all of the data you have on me. Uh, obviously, that's really hard to do. It's hard to delete it because it can be all over the place, especially if you are working with, if you've been working with that consumer for a really long time. Uh, but then also, in order to prove compliance, you need records to ensure that you can prove compliance. Uh, the GDPR does recognize that, though, and they have some exceptions to deleting data, uh, certain pieces of it, if it's required to either fulfill a contract or to comply with a, a law. Okay. So at that point, they would allow you to maintain that language or that data. Yeah. All right. So being able to have the right states of what that data is and where it is would be really important to this process. So yeah, you, know, you want to ensure that you're capable of tracking why are you processing that data, but then also why do you need to continue to maintain it so that you can explain to the consumer why you're not deleting their data and not honoring that right at this point. Okay. Yeah.